Today I'm going to be doing an overview and review of the Stanley Pour Over set. This set costs about $35 to $40. You can buy it on their website. You can buy it on Amazon. Link in the description below. But before we do that, I just want to say welcome to Kabeen's Coffee Corner. This is, channel is designed to help you choose the coffee gear you want to brew with at home. You'll find a lot of reviews and comparisons on this channel. I also want to let you know that I have a Patreon account. Um, you can pay a little bit a month to support me as a YouTuber with the chance to win free gear. So this is actually going to go to one of my Patreon subscribers. So I'm excited to be giving this away and I'm thankful for the Patreon supporters who allow me to go out and buy this gear to do unbiased reviews. Um, I also want to just ask that you would please like and subscribe. That really helps me grow this channel. Also, I do have an Instagram account called Kabeen's Coffee Corner. You're more than welcome to follow me there. Let's get into it. So this is the Stanley Pour Over Set. It comes in a lot of different colors. It is um, a nice uh, metal and it seems pretty durable. Um, so it comes in two pieces. It comes with the cup and it comes with the actual pour over here. The cup is, I mean, it is just a typical Stanley cup. It has a nice finish. It feels durable. It doesn't feel like it's going to break and it comes with this plastic lid that does allow a little bit of splashing to come through. Um, this is going to be just a traditional kind of stainless steel mug. It's not going to fit in cup holders or anything. It's not something I would really travel with, but maybe something that you would use for camping or around the house if you want to keep your coffee hot a little bit longer. Um, so basically this has uh, different lines on here to kind of adjust and know how much uh, water you're putting into it. We are not going to use those uh, today. We are actually going to do it by weight. Um, so we're going to do it that way. It's got this little filter here uh, that comes out. Uh, it just has a lot of little holes in there. Um, slides in like this and then it screws in on the bottom and leaves this big empty hole. This allows you to sit this cup on basically anything. Uh, most likely you will be bringing directly into this cup is how it was originally designed. Um, so this does not have any paper filters that you have to use. It's a completely reusable filter. Um, so let's go ahead and dive into it. I'm going to brew a cup of coffee with it Why I share some of my thoughts on it. So I have this carafe here because I want you to kind of see what the coffee looks like when we're done. It's kind of a smoky color, so it's a little bit harder to see, but this is the only carafe that I have in use. Uh, so I have an Akaya Lunar Scale here. My kettle is heated up to 202 degrees. I have ground 20 grams of coffee using the Niche Zero set on uh, probably about a 40. So I'm just going to go ahead and pour that in there. And we're going to level off those grams of coffee in the carafe. And we are going to go ahead and make a pour over with it. So I'm going to follow just basically what I do for most pour overs. I'm going to start the timer. I'm going to pour water at 202 degrees. And I'm going to put in about 50 grams of water trying to soak all the grounds. And I'm going to let it sit there for about 30 seconds. Um, just this allows you to bloom the coffee and allow some of the gases to release and gives you an overall better cup and more even extraction on this. I don't do a ton of pour overs but this is typically how I brew them. I've been pretty content with the results that I've been getting on all, all the various methods that I use between V60, Kalita Wave, Chemex, all that kind of stuff. So now we're at our 50 grams and I'm going to pour all the way up until I hit 320 grams. We're going to aim to get all of the coffee grounds as wet as possible while going in clockwise circles. It might look kind of clockwise on the angle here, but clockwise circles until we hit 320 grams. And this is a very interesting way to brew a pour over because of the mesh filter on the center, it goes up and all the grounds are surrounded near it versus a traditional V60 or any other type of a pour over, it's just a paper filter and there's nothing coming up in the middle of it. So all the grounds are sitting next to each other versus that center gap in the circle, which is kind of just a very, very interesting uh, thing with it. Okay, the pour over is now done. It took about five minutes. And one of the things that I noticed with this pour over is that the filter began to clog quite a bit, um, which really, really slowed down the brewing time way longer than it should have been. Um, so what I needed to do is I needed to take a spoon and move out the grounds away from the filter so that the water could draw down. This is something that I typically don't have the problems with on a pour over. So I'm gonna just go ahead and put this out of the way. And Something that's interesting about this is it's incredibly muddy. You can, 
I don't know how well you can see this on a camera, but there is a lot of sludge at the bottom of it. It almost seems, I don't really want to drink it, but for, for the sake of YouTube, I will. So I'm going to pour it in the mug and I want to see if you can see some of that sludge at the bottom. Like look at, look at that last little bit there. Like that's all just dark coffee sludge from all the little fines coming in from the grinder. And I have a niche zero, which isn't the best for pour overs, but it's also a pretty nice grinder and is better than a lot of other grinders. So, I mean, it should be good enough to handle a pour over. Yeah, I would say it's it's a okay at best cup of coffee. Um, the problem with that is it's just very sludgy. It's not clean. It's like it's kind of like a French press, but worse. Um, I'm not too big of a fan, fan of a French press because you get all those little um, fines of coffee through the filter of a French press and into your cup, and it kind of makes it a little bit more muddy. If you basically multiply that muddiness experience with this, that's what you get with the Stanley pour over thing. Um, also, with the fact that this is a, a reusable filter, it has the problem with the fact that it's a little bit more difficult to clean. Now, I'm assuming based off of Stanley as a brand, they're kind of more like go out there, don't drink your coffee at home type of a thing. It's meant for more work people with their thermoses that are pretty much indestructible. So I'm kind of taking this as a, a pour over set for people who travel or people who like to camp, things like that. That's what I think this was probably more targeted at would be my guess based off the fact that it has a built-in carafe that's a cup and it has a pour over thing. If I were camping, I would use a V60. I would use a V60 for the purpose of the fact that it has a filter and you can take that filter and all the grand uh, coffee is in that filter and you can simply just put that filter in a plastic bag and throw it away when you get it in a trash can somewhere else. It's way easier to clean than trying to wash out all these grounds and clean it from that. Um, for those of you who don't know, this is a V60. It's a simple cone shaped thing. This is metal. Um, it's $20. It's not that expensive. Um, this would probably be about $20 too if it didn't come with a mug. Um, but for $20, you can get this one. For $6, I think you can get the plastic version of it, which is still pretty darn good. Um, I actually think the plastic brews a little bit better of cup. I'm not gonna get too much into that just because of the type of metal versus plastic thing while brewing a cup. But this one's definitely more durable than the plastic because it is metal. Um, it sits right on type of pretty much any travel cup because most people probably have a thermos and Stanley makes a lot better opportunities for thermoses Outside of this, I'm not typically a fan of a thermos that has a handle that's a mug shape. Um, but you basically just slap a filter in here, pour your grams of coffee, pour your grams of water, and you're good to go, and you'll make a good pour for this. Um, so I would highly recommend purchasing a V60 over the Stanley pour over set. I really don't know who the Stanley pour over set is for, but it's definitely not great in my opinion. Now I have tried some other solutions where the fact I would take out the filter of the Stanley Porver and I would put a paper filter from a V60 or a Chemex and I found that those did better but still not great because the filter didn't fit perfectly. You would just be better off at buying this um, than trying to throw a filter from a V60 in there. However, if you have one, that is the way to do it. Um, so like I said, this was purchased to me from uh, Patreon, and because I'm not a fan of the product, and I feel bad sending this to a Patreon subscriber because it's not something that I would fully recommend getting, uh, my Patreon subscriber is also going to get some filters for it to make this a little bit better, and I'm going to throw in a bag of beans from uh, my favorite roaster locally here. Um, so my Patreon subscribers, you have a chance to win this, and I'm looking forward to at least giving you something a little bit better with a bag of coffee to hopefully maybe enjoy this brewer a little bit more. But yeah, produces a very sludgy cup versus this, you get a very clean cup, and this is pretty much the same price. This is the exact same price if you would just go out and buy this mug and buy this. It's probably cheaper than that. You do have to buy some replace, like re you have to do, you have to replace some filters, but overall, it's well worth it.
So I hope you found this video helpful. Do you actually have one of these things? Is it beneficial for you? Do you like it? Is there something that I've been missing out on when brewing with it? Let me know in the comments below. And again, please like and subscribe and thank you so much for watching.